What is good friends? Welcome back. Some of you requested more commentary videos. Well, this is your lucky day. We have about 40 hours left until the end of the conquest and now it's time to achieve our settlement mission. The boss already warned us to make sure we have plenty of airlift as we will take a lot of buildings. You see the first objective, we need to assist FWZ capturing the Gang Brother settlement in the southeast portion of the city. I'm located near the NFG settlement. JB or Gang Brother settlement will be kind of easy. NFG, I suspect they will resist, which is awesome. I hope they do. And now that I'm in position, I'm going to try to harvest a few kills against NFG. I'm trying to approach my howitzer. I need to keep a distance. I have plenty of airlift. I'm going to play along with NFG. Uh, make sure I'm not too far away from my base. Now I paid the price. I lost almost all my troops. I'm going to retrain. And keep, uh, I'm going to play with two howitzers right there. Making sure I keep the distance like I said. And I will harass and try to pull them near my base so my artillery can fire away. Look at this helicopter troop. Yep. Now in this sequence, I play with two tanks. One MBT and one light tank. It's a you may have noticed, but I'm experiencing some lag when I press on the function. There is a delay. I will restart the game. And what do we have? The enemy already ganged around me. Now it's time to activate some defensive buffs. And I will also train a little bit faster there you go and the third step is to change for a defensive setup for my officers i will put the vox and steel fighter to increase the durability or the resistance against officer skill and now the last step is i will try to taunt or force the enemy from activating my base with my bomber. I may have to sacrifice my bomber, but this effect will make the enemy uh, come toward my base. The, their enemy fighter will activate the lightning aggro. I think I am activated now. Yeah, there you go. You see the red line? That means I'm activated. So if I pop out like so, there you go. Now the aggro has begun. <laughs> I'm active and let's see the battle report. I was hoping for that. Uh, my base was not under attack a lot during that conquest. I'm showing good resistance. Not too bad despite the number of howitzers. There you go. I relocate. I will train and I will jump back again. This is just the beginning of our mission. I do not want to miss that for nothing. I'm going to pull out the assist and finally let's see the battle report. That was the two last battles and there you go. So 2,515 kills. Not too bad. Uh, for the amount of units I lost, mainly my bombers, the unit that made the most amount of kills should be my howitzer. Uh, yep. There you go. 811 kills for the my strongest howitzer. We'll collect those and I will prepare another jump. I have plenty of airlift. I was ready for that. You see three out of six. Now I will position my base right there for now until I'm done training and the idea is, is to creep forward the border. I want to be close to the action so I can better support my allies. If the situation would be the following, that we are under heavy attack and the opposition is strong, 
maybe not position myself too close from the action with a, a burnout base it's always a daring move now i will assist aaron he's gonna come closer make room for me just in case he gets swarmed and we have a jumper so aaron got quicker than goober <laughs> wasting his jump and now he's gonna be under attack yep another failed jump gotta be quicker than that aaron is a pretty experienced player so <laughs> yes great work As you can see another teammate jump, Aaron will try to creep a little bit more forward. We're gonna make room and think for our teammates. Uh, we will try to allow as much as uh, S21 player uh, to fit inside this, this patch of land. If you notice me, every time I pack my base, I zoom out and zoom back in. This is to break the animation and move my truck faster. You cannot deploy your base fast anymore. Lilith kind of stopped this mechanic, but you can still advance or move your truck. So by zooming out and back in real quick, uh, you skip this animation. It's a little trick. Now Aaron, he wants to move a little bit more forward to allow me to base, which now is impossible for me. He understand that. So as soon as he see the opportunity, oh, he's gonna take out this weak artillery, there you go. So the light tank is awesome for that quick ambush, pop out and back in for a quick kill. So as soon as you have um, enough room to maneuver, we will try to advance his base one grid Oh, if we have no money bombing. On a bombing mission, oh yeah, this, oh no. <laughs> Perfect uh, target. <laughs> Gotta be careful about those bombers. Now we have AV assisting us. And I'm gonna sneak back and try to take out this main battle tank like so. Uh, I'm gonna retreat, pull back. NFG have more troops on the ground, so I don't want to give them too many kills. And Aaron is attacking when they are under retreat, which is perfect. It's a good technique. I approve that. So that slight tank will take the medicine. There you go. Almost knock it down. Now this is the time to pull our move. Aaron will move forward one grid and I should be technically I should be allowed to move yeah there you go so I can move my base awesome Pay attention to this light tank. It's Sing Song's unit. Look how strong he is, but he's outnumbered. We will gang on him and defeat his unit. It's very hard to go one on one against this uh, unit or Sing Song. We got so many strong troops, and now we have a little scrap. That's not gonna end well for NFG. They don't have the numbers, and we do have some strong howitzers defending the line. Ooh, this tank will not survive. Wow. I will try to see if I can fit somewhere else. No, it's not possible. I will keep my position for now. No money is approaching the battlefield with this howitzer. I will make sure I provide the protection against the enemy. Uh, they have weak units, but still they can inflict some damage to the howitzer. I was gonna try to attack this infantry troop right there. He's in range. Yep, he's gonna pull back slightly. 
those light tank they don't like this they will try to support and this howitzer no sorry this infantry is gone now another troop oh yeah gotta be careful when the artillery is pre-charged strong unit uh your chance of survivability are slim now i'm gonna approach my howitzer as well is a straggler behind us he will not survive try to find the position as soon as i attack the enemy my howitzer should fire back there you go like so beautiful strike look at this thing he got engaged and destroyed pretty quick there's some action out of frame just north of uh, the screen i'm sorry i couldn't catch everything NMG, they are more on the defensive, but they still attacked my base earlier, so they, they, they have good motivation, they have good energy, I have to give that to NMG. Now I'm trying to approach, it's very difficult, it seems like I cannot find the position for my howitzer, I should have pressed the auto attack, now I... Just trying to snipe some enemy troops within range. I'm gonna pull back. Not gonna push my luck too much, and I will repress auto attack. Seems to be working better in this type of scenario. Now Looney will engage that infantry that will um, kick the Hornet's nest <laughs> again. Now NMG is striking back but we have those strong howitzers providing <laughs> fire support <laughs> whoa be careful there you go and now i'm losing uh, i see that strong bomber so, yes that would be bad news for my fighter i'm approaching my fighter just on top of those troops but nfgd do have strong fighters Aaron will once again try a smaller attack, knocking down this artillery. Perfect mission for the light tank. Trying to bait NFG in our um, toward us, where our artilleries are pre-charged and ready to fire. Now Aaron will. Mm, yeah, he doesn't have the best howitzer, but he still defeated that troop. There you go. Yeah, he lost. It's a one for one. It's a kill trade at this point. So Aaron back with the light tank. Yep. Yeah. Knocked down this howitzer without taking too much loss. Just a little bit. It was worth it. Look at this sequence, I will approach and engage this howitzer, both of us start from zero, the difference is I'm the only one firing as I have more power and saber of the nation that will activate his skill, knocking down this artillery clean and this will once again trigger a chain reaction to NFG that will try to attack and kill me. My Howitzer is strong, not the strongest, but it's up there, so it survived this attack and made some beautiful kills. Now uh, we see fighters and bombers, my fighter is getting destroyed, sadly, but that's the price of waging war. Not too sure if this is a glitch, the enemy is closer than the range and, and still my artillery went too close for nothing, getting destroyed. It is what it is, not a huge deal. So this is the battle report from all this uh, scraps earlier. Quite happy with that. 
Now let's begin the step number two of the settlement. We will capture the NFG one. Actually, we will help Avengers capturing the NFG settlement since we are both in the same coalition in Cairo. Everything is coalition based. So if Avengers capture the settlement, it will count as our settlement as well, helping us achieve all the missions in Cairo. So we start big by blowing up Sing Song. Mm, I think he had the most powerful base out of NFG. We also had a lot of strong troops around, so that process was done without losing too much. Now the trick is keep in mind guys, uh, NFG and all our enemies, they activated the surprise attack. They also broke the peace treaty uh, between them, meaning that as soon as the settlement will become neutral, everybody from the opposition is allowed to jump in this area. And the intention is to interfere uh, and prevent us from building. So we have to approach this with caution, meaning that, yes, first step is to clean all those bases. Okay. We expect NFG to jump uh, again and again. So we have to make sure to block the area by filling the settlement um, terrain or, or area with units, preventing them from jumping. Now it's time to burn Lead Farmer, another strong player from an FG. The uh, infantry start the show. Luckily for us, nobody activated his base. We're making good progress, yes, he will engage a few troops, that's the name of the game, you cannot expect that when you deal with such a powerful base, but so far a pretty clean job. Next step, we're gonna engage a GP and BP, another strong player. We expect being jumped, we expect being ambushed, uh, we have a few Avengers player, uh, playing along that will help us. We have a jumper right there. He successfully deployed his base. Now we should uh, knock down this base before. Now he's engaged. Uh, we're gonna still deal with JP before. Then we will go to uh, Joe Biden. I'm more of a Trump fan, but it doesn't matter. So we have another jumper. So this guy should go first. He has a super weak base. Only a few uh, units will be <laughs> required to knock him down. And then we will engage Creepy Joe Biden. Now, why he jumped there? There's a specific reason is he made sure to deploy his base under or below a, a fighter. This way his base will get activated by the fighter. Uh, helping him, I guess, to get a little bit more kills. It's not the cleanest burn I've seen so far. However, uh, we had so many troops around that uh, we pulled it through. We improvised and completed the mission uh, against Joe Biden. Being a, a fully held base, I think it would be better to retreat and regroup. However, the base was already burned down, so... We didn't lose too much. Now time for Black Bomber to go. The infantry will start the show. We shouldn't lose anything with that burn. There you go. So mission done. Now time to burn Night Scream. Night screen being a legitimate well, we need to make sure we have a max amount of troops around him. We surround him properly, but we do have a jumper now. It's he's out of frame. Uh, let me put the camera on top of him. Yep, and another jumper, but this time we have a blocker. He will not successfully deploy his base. And yep, he's out. So Ocean Blue is gone. NFG trying to maybe disrupt uh, our, our mission by trying to attack us, that didn't work out. 
So that jumper is also gone. I kind of missed that while we were busy uh, south of the frame. Now time for Night Scream to go. No money first. Start the show with his strong infantry. However, <laughs> did you see how fast he's losing HP? Yep, he's gonna make an okay report from that. But we have so many howitzers around him that his base has no chance to survive. Uh, he went so quick that he badly timed his SOS. Not the end of the world. Uh, so now I think pretty much everyone is gone. Ooh, we may have some more jumpers. And we have a blocker. No, sadly, I thought he would block the base. Now I activated the base myself. <laughs> Sorry, it happened. I tried to block the base. Uh, but now, yeah, the infantry started to engage the base. Now we can follow through with the howitzer. It's a nice try. At this point, uh, the, um, with the amount of units we have in the area, it will be very hard to stop uh, the process. We're going to set the blaze, the settlement burning down. We have a healer. Sing Song is back with a 5% base. Maybe he had an SOS and now his base is active. For some reason, we could either bomb the base. Uh, yeah. He's forcing the aggro to engage, but we have nobody the second with this super heavy. Maybe everybody else will follow through. Yeah, we are. All the rally leaders are focused and have their head in the game. There you go. That could have been much worse. Trust me. Uh, Sing Song, if you ever played with or against this guy, he does have a strong, even at 5%. I mean, you never know. It's a big gamble. He may have an SOS ready. Or the mistake that we usually do, I, I include myself, I did that mistake before, is you start to engage the, the base, thinking, ah, well, he's only at 5%. What else can happen? Well, because you are less careful, you're reckless, uh, you usually... You lose a lot of troops by thinking you would not die easy. Um, yeah, always a bad surprise when you deal against those weaker base. So engage uh, with caution. Alright, so now the mission is accomplished on the NFG side. Let's fly to S40. You see the labels. We want to position our strong bases toward the front line to maximize our chance to succeed. I will jump. So does other S21 players. So we position ourselves for the capture. We do have plenty of time ahead just in case we encounter a problem. So one more jump left just in case. Uh, if you want to see the rest of the video that will be for another episode, it's already done editing. Stay tuned and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.